What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing gameplay with the new Blake Griffin card. So, Blake Griffin is the spotlight reward for completing all the challenges. And this is, I'm trying to think, Steve Francis was really good. Um, Drummond was terrible, Marbury was terrible. The first one was terrible. Um, I remember who the first one was, Alonzo Mourning. And Chris Webber was very average. But Blake Griffin should be the best of them. It'll be either him or Steve Francis without question. So, Blake Griffin is a 97 overall. His offensive stats, well, he's 99 offense, 97 defensive overall, which is really good. And he also has got 30 intangibles, which means this is a hidden Galaxy Opal. He's got nine Hall of Fame badges, brick wall, showtime, fast break finisher, pick and popper, pick and router, hand -like finisher, pogo stick, rebound chaser, and lobsity finisher. He's also got quick draw gold, which is huge. He has got gold back down punisher. He's got gold difficult shots, gold flexible release, and silver quick first step on a six foot ten guy who can play center. What? Okay, ball control is 79. Um, driving dunk is 98. Sign is 98. Great mid range shot, good three ball. He's got a great block rating, not great perimeter defense, but good interior defense, great rebounding, great speed, speed ball and acceleration for a big man, and 68 lateral quickness, which is not absolutely terrible. So I just want to see coaches wise, um, does it improve ball handle? I don't think he does. Let's see with Terry Stotts to see. Yeah, so with Terry Stotts as our coach, Blake Griffin, his ball handling is going to be plus four. So that's it up to 83. And I am going to put a shoe on him. Hopefully there's a, a ball control shoe. Yeah, there's so many of them. Oh my god. There are so many goal ball control shoes. And now he's got above 86. So yeah, the team we're running with is Baron Davis, Jeff Petrie, Paul George. Actually, I'm going to take out Petrie. Uh, we need just more defense. And the only reason I'm not putting in Clay is because, if you guys don't know, Clay Thompson still has the problem where he keeps switching onto the other team center. Um, 3 and D, I'll put in, if he has Bowen, I'll use Bowen, if not, I'll use, uh, the guy I was gonna use, he has not evo Bowen, so I'm gonna put in Jerry Sloan instead, so in goes Amethyst, Jerry Sloan, great release, great defender, so why not, Paul George to 3, Lewis to 4, Blake to 5 the bench, we've got Harden, Beal, Durant, uh, Hito, and David Robinson, Magic, uh, Duncan and LeBron running off the bench. So anyway, yeah, this is the team we're running with. Blake Griffin should be an incredible card. Now let's go to the hot zones and release for Blake. Then we're going to get on to the game. So Blake has got two hot zones outside the three and hot zones everywhere inside the three. From mid. That's the, that's the nice release Blake Griffin has ever had. Okay, he's still got the cheesy dribble moves of last year. Okay, I might have to do it. I might have to spend, I might have to grind this game out and get these for my own account, get this card for my own account because it's incredible. Blake is a beast like. Three ball, obviously. Ready to go release. Um, see the fade. Fade's good. Obviously, he's got to go post hook. He's Blake Griffin. He's going to be one of the best dunkers. This is like Blake Griffin. This is, I'm not going to say, well, he's not as good as Opal Blake from last year because that card is ridiculous. He's somewhere between, oh, I'd say he's somewhere between Opal Blake and Pink Diamond Blake from last year. Like, he's got ball handling, he's got glitchy moves. He can be played as, like, a point center. Man, there is, I'm guessing he's got a decent enough hop step as well. Yep, well, he can hop step. I don't know, are there some players that can't hop step or it's just they don't have a glitchy hop step animation? Because there's some players that I literally can't hop step with. And obviously, Yanis is just every single time. And you know what's another really great thing about this Blake Griffin card? He's got all the great, he's got all the best shooting badges except range extender. Catch and shoot, corner special, he's got difficult shots, got quick draw, got deep fades. And you know what he doesn't have? Steady shooter. So, uh, it should be fun. So anyway, now let's just green on three. And... Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against a really tough matchup here um, in Tim Duncan on him. So I'm going to swap him to power forward and I'm going to start Duncan at center. Yeah. So I don't want to just uh, have to deal with Duncan the entire game. That's going to be really, really difficult. 
Nice back. Okay. It's good. Down in the post. Fade away. Blake Griffin can't hit it. He's wide open in the corner for two. Green. There we go. All right. Start to the game. It was a uh, good shot there by Blake. Let's go. Blake clamping up Kevin Love here. Steal. Blake run through. Keep running. Keep running. Throw the lob. And Blake with the dunk. Yeah, great pass there by Brian Davis. Got him. Got into the post. Puts the hook. There's no real pressure on him there. And Blake makes it. There you go. Like, his handling. He's the best ball handling big man in the game. Like, I know there's better ball handling players that are his height. Like, Richard Lewis. Well, yeah, probably Richard Lewis. Uh, Giannis, obviously. Um, a few others. But, like, in terms of, like, actual big men, especially ones that can play center... I don't even think it's close. And oh, I thought he had actually got that board over Duncan. Let's, go, let's push it. Blake, stop. No one's there. And he pulls up on the break and makes the shot. That's eight points, two and a half minutes on four of six shooting. That is as good as you can expect from any player. No, that's the dumb. Oh, that's that dumb animation that's either a no call or an offensive foul, and it's always given as a defensive foul. Go, Blake. Straight line. Back him down. And that's a really tough shot, but he still makes it. Okay, now I got Matumbo in a power forward, I think. Which is not an easy matchup. But it's better than Duncan, so I have to take that, I guess. See if I can get him behind the back. We go through two of them. And he picks it up. To the basket, Blake Griffin puts it in. There we go. Really, really solid start to this game for him. Yeah, that's grand. Yeah, that's grand. Go, Blake. Makes the hook. Let's go. That is not a good shot. And unfortunately, Blake Griffin doesn't get slashing takeover this year. He gets glass cleaner, which is like every single uh, post player in this game. He has glass cleaner takeover. That's another rebound, and they finally put one of them in. Was there four? They got four offensive boards there. Over Tim Duncan, of all people, as well. I wish he had slash takeover, because last year he was just ridiculous with that takeover. Hop step. Steps in. Oh, nearly gets the am one. Couldn't get separation there, but got the free throw line anyway. This, and this is, this is a top five card in my team. I'm saying that already. Haven't used them much. This is a top five card in NBA 2K20, my team. And he's a... Uh, I know he's not necessarily free because you have to buy him, but like he can't be purchased, which is a good thing. Everyone, you've got to grind for one of the best cards in the game now. There we go. I was about to say Magic clamp him up. Magic's not... This isn't like NBA 2K18 Magic. He's not complete... Or 2K19 Magic. He's not complete. He clamps this here. It's wide open. Bad release. Really? That was 12% covered? Someone was open. PG in the corner, three, green. There we go. Lead is now up to 11 points. That's a little bit of a better start to this quarter. We finished the last one anyway. Can't shoot. I can live with that. He can't shoot. He hits him, he hits him. Steal, Richard. Heat out the magic. Right to the basket. Easy dunk. And one for Magic Johnson. There we go. Rather than be subbed out, but... So like three points, three points. Why did they change Magic's release? Like they actually, it used to be accurate. Like, like Magic's free throw used to actually look like it was Magic Johnson. It was like Will Chamberlain. In previous years, they had his free throw down to a T, and then they just changed it. They ruined it. Like, not they ruined it. They made it easier. They gave him like a generic free throw release, which he shouldn't have. The basket, good dunk by Hita. Got him. Pass out of that. I don't know what trigger, why that triggered it like that. There we go. Got him. Oh, good block. Um, Harden, drop back, drop back. Get there early. Great job, James. Unlucky. James Harden actually played some decent defense right there. Good defense, Hito. Force him into something difficult, and they blow the layup. There you go, hit like. Got him on the back. Back down, back down, back down. We're open. Shoot the fade. And Blake Griffin knocks it down. He's got 18 himself. Blake is killing it. And Blake... 
got into another right position. They're not guiding that hook. I'm playing Griffin scores it. He is killing Tim Duncan. One of the best defensive big men in the game. Blake Griffin is destroying him on the inside. Okay, picking it up. Lob cheese is on. Good pass. Oh, Blake! Don't miss that. Hall of Fame lob cheese, and he uh, blows that. Hall of Fame lob cheese finisher. No defense, Blake. Go get it. Let's push it. And bomb steal. We forced him to miss the layup again. Good job. Got him. Oh, nice dunk there by Blake Griffin. We should be able to get him with the blow by. To the basket, Blake Griffin draws the foul on Terrence Ross. So I keep forgetting he's got silver quick first step. So he's going to be able to actually draw a lot of blow bys by just running at the hip like. Here we go. Green's both. I think I'm definitely going to grind for Blake. I think I'm going to have to. Because he's that good. He's the best power forward in my team and it's not even close. Actually, maybe Rashard Lewis. No, Blake's better, but sorry. I mean, Rashard Lewis is somewhat close. It's unfortunate. I. You know what? I might actually have the empty on my no money spent account. Leaner. Good shot, Hito. That is open. That's green. That's a big shot. Please be a three. There we go. Defense, catch it. Let's go. Tag, let's attack. Into the corner for three. Good contest. But it goes in from Baron Davis. And they've gone and stripped me again. We came out the board. Just have to put it up. Bad shot. And Duncan comes in with a rebound again. Great shot there by Kevin Durant. We got so lucky that play. My hand leads up to nine. Take the shooter. You cannot leave a shooter. Come on. That's way too easy. That is way, way too easy. Okay. Blake gets him with the behind the back dribble. Goes to the basket. On Tim Duncan. Gets swatted. And we make the layup with Duncan. We swatted him there. Was it PG or LeBron? But uh, either way, doesn't really matter. Two points is two points. Actually, he's running his hip. Why am I trying to do all these mad dribble moves? Oh, why did he cock it back? He had a wide open dunk and he was there. We went into a dunk animation. He had it. He had it and then didn't. That is fairly frustrating. All right to the basket. There we go. Got a dunk that time. Hey, surely there'll be no help. Because they did help off him and they left Kevin to run wide open. Come on, you can't help off Blake. I'm telling you guys, Blake Griffin's that much of a mismatch. I think I'm going to have to. I think I'm going to have to spend that 10 or so hours grinding. Because. I'm telling you guys, Blake's the real deal. He is the real deal. To the basket. Good job. Hopefully I can get him by the end of this weekend anyway. I got only 11 to 20 from the field. That's because I'm taking dumb shots with him. This is a top 3 to 4 card in my team. Probably. Without question, it's top five. Question is, is he better than Paul George? And my, I'd say yes. I'd say yes. Like, he's not like Paul George, who I literally will call the perfect player in my team right now, with no weaknesses. Blake has no range extender, which is, like, barely a weakness. And thought he was going to dunk it there on Arenas. But other than that, he's such a mismatch. Like, he's Giannis with a jump shot. He's a stronger Johannes with a jump shot. I know, obviously, he doesn't have the... He's not as fast or as glitchy animations, but, like... He can still pull off the hop steps. He's still got a momentum behind the back dribble. As of right now, because Giannis can be a liability with a jump shot, Blake could be one. Blake could be one. And... Obviously, there's a lot of different... A lot of people have a lot of different opinions, but... You can definitely make an argument that he's the number one best player in this game. So in the end, Blake Griffin, over 50% from the field, two turnovers, four rebounds, 31 points, one assist, seven of eight from the free throw line. <laughs> <coughs> Paul George had 12. Uh, Hito Turkoglu had six. Tim Duncan had four. Hitty had four. Davis had three. Magic had three. 
James Anna two, Robinson at two, Lewis at three, Jerry Sloan didn't score, Boaz plus seven, and Beal didn't score. And I didn't put on LeBron. So anyway, yeah, that is the video. So Blake Griffin is absolutely fantastic. He's unbelievable. Um, I can see myself investing most of my MT, to be honest, in trying to get this card on my no money spent account. I can see myself selling a lot of players and stuff because he's that good. He's without question a top five card in the game. Um, you could argue top one. He's uh, similar to Giannis. He's Tim Duncan <coughs> with ball handling. He's unbelievable, like an unbelievable card. Anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.